Hello. Hi, Dutch. This is EYA on EYA Censored Supernatural Bible Changes on YouTube. And today is the 16th of June, 2022. And I wanted to get on and do a really quick video about the red wave that's coming and how it relates to some Bible changes that we see. I don't want to go into all the politics around what's happening right now, but we definitely know that we're living in the land of lunaticville in, the, in, the, in this world. It's absolute insanity. But I came across a change in scripture that I was sharing earlier today in a stream, and I wondered what it meant. And then I think I know. So I'm going to share with you a few Bible changes today. If you're new to my channel, stick around, open up your Bible, and read it along with me. Our Bibles are under satanic siege and supernaturally changing. The changes are prolific and obvious on every single page of the Bible. I primarily focus on the King James Bible, but every English Bible is under satanic assault. And the changes to scripture are happening across languages. And I've been covering these since 2016 on YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump into the content. So take out your Bibles, follow along with me. But we are definitely seeing lying signs and wonders. Let me know what you think about the changes I'm going to share with you today. And yeah, let me know. I want to hear what you think about what I'm going to share with you. Um, hi, everyone. God bless you. Hi, Dutch and um, Ryan Ronan, the voice. Good to see you. God bless you. Let's go ahead and let me dive into what I want to share with you. So I want to begin with this. Did you guys know that the first Russian band to enter the United States was called Red Wave? I didn't know that until today. I just thought it was kind of interesting, especially in light of what we are seeing happen right now with Russia and Ukraine, a lot of rhetoric. Again, I'm not going to get too political, but don't you think it's interesting? I do. I do. I think they're sending messages, as I've shared for a long time. But let me go ahead and share this with you. Headlines are now speaking of this. Here we go. Elon Musk says he voted Republican for the very for the first time in Texas congressional race, and he predicts a massive red wave in 2022 midterms. And you know, just headline after headline, you can see this. The View host shut down claim that Red Wave is coming. Um, shock GOP House with win in Texas suggests big raid wave in November. And it continues to talk about the Red Wave that's coming. It's all over the news, if you've been paying attention. And I think part of this is we're seeing more nominal... Democrats are actually seeing the destruction that their party is bringing to the United States, to the world. But we both know, and I say you, both of us, me and those who are listening, that it's all a scam. You know what I'm saying? They're two sides of the same coin. That's why I'm personally independent, but I definitely do not agree with the values of the left. I can definitely tell you that. And the last couple of years, we've seen Democrats go wild. And along with that has been great lawlessness and wickedness in our land. That is self-evident. But anyway, going on about the red wave coming, this has to do with the Republican Party winning in the next election. That's why they call it a red wave. So they're thinking it's going to come after the midterm primaries and so forth. Yeah, the red wave. Well, let's take a look at, oh, before I do that, I quickly want to say, take a screenshot of this. These are Bible changes that will help you and, and remind you of what scripture said about the, what we, 
what's happening today with the destruction of scriptures. Jesus Christ is the word of God. He is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And we worship him in spirit and in truth. Um, but the Bible did have and does have scripture verses that relate to what we're seeing happen today. So take a look at these verses later. But anyway, let me dive into this. Um, talk about the Red Wave Band. Do you know that we have an Italian band? That's right. An Italian band is now in the Bible. We even have the, the band of Augustus. Do you see that? I didn't know that we had musical bands in the Bible, but now we do. An Italian band and an Augustus band. Totally crazy. New in the King James Bible. So obvious. So I just thought that was interesting. I want to share that with you. Regarding Elon, who thinks that there's going to be a massive red wave in coming up very soon. Elon is now in the King James Bible seven times. And it's pretty crazy. Obviously, it's new. And then even look at this. We even have the family of the Jolly Lights. That's right, Jolly Lights. Did you know that there's a tribe of Jolly Lights? Like the Jolly Green Giant? The Jolly Lights. Totally weird. Oh, and then we Elonites. Look at that. The family of the Elonites. That's new for me too. What about you? But anyway, I want to share this with you. The word red. Red was always in the Bible, obviously. But we're finding it 53 times in 52 verses in the Bible. And I want to show a few things with you. The word red in these instances, like in Genesis 25, 25, was, was ready, was Rudy, R-U-D-D-Y. It's changed to red. But what I really want to show you is how they've capitalized the word red in several instances of scripture. How bizarre is that? Now, the red sea, they go together. So C should be capitalized, if at all. But there it is, red alone is capitalized. And this happens, I think, 24 times in the Bible. Um, when you click on red, in the Strong's number, which we did this morning, I'm just quickly gonna remind you if you didn't see that video already, is that it's saying that it was translated to red 24 times, flags three times, how bizarre is that, and weeds. Totally weird that it was translated to red capitalized. And of course, red is for the red wave, the Republican Party. Now, let me go back to this. I want to show you this. So we have red in the Bible. And I believe it's been multiplied, by the way, but it's also been changed. So now it's red, red, uh, Red C is now only capitalizing red, like making it stand out. Wave is in the Bible. In this instance, in this particular Strong's number, H5130, 15 times. Take a look at the definitions here of the word wave. So like in Exodus 29, 24, let me make sure of something. Yeah. And we have, and shall wave them. For a wave offering. Wave offering is new for me in the Bible. What about you? But what does it mean, shall wave them for a wave offering? And then we have a wave, waving, wave it for a wave offering. That's right. Wave it for a wave offering. Waved for a wave offering. Well, when we click on, and then here we even have the breast. And Moses took the breast and waved it for a wave offering. So now we're seeing the waving of breasts in the Bible. The waving of breasts. Yeah, are you disgusted? I am. Because when we go ahead and we take a look at what the definition of wave is, let me just go ahead and show it to you. H5130, we see the word wave is Strong's number H5130, and it's been translated to wave, shake, 
offer, lift up, move, perfumed, send, sift, and strike. Like, that's right. Striking the breasts, shaking the breast is totally bizarre. To move to and fro, wave, besprinkle, besprinkle, to wield, to wave or shake, to shake or brandish against, it's totally bizarre. And then down here, it even says to vibrate up and down, to quiver. This is for the word wave, to quiver, to vibrate up and down, or rock to and fro, used in a great variety of applications, including sprinkling, beckoning, rubbing, and then even this weird word, bastina doing, sawing, waving, etc. Lift up, move, offer perfume, send, shake, sift, strike, wave. This is for the word wave. And look how weird this is. Be sprinkled my couch with myrrh. So now the now when it talks about the waving of breasts, it means to vibrate up and down, to rock to and fro. It's totally bizarre. Let me go back. The breast and waved it. They're waving the breast. They're rocking the breast to and fro. They're shaking the breast. They're vibrating the breast to and fro. Can you picture that? This is how absolutely sick the Bible has become. When we talk about graphic language in the Bible, this is part of it. This is new language in scripture. But wave has definitely been inserted into scripture. There's a lot of waving in the Bible. And I will show you the, um, the wave breast just so we can see it together. Wave breast is there. I'm putting on the Strong's number so you can see it's the same Strong's number. Wave breast. Do you see that? Wave breast. And the wave here is the same Strong's number that we looked at, meaning vibrate up and down to shake. It's totally offensive. But we have red wave in the Bible sending messages that I'm sure. Now, the word blue is now in the Bible 50 times in 49 verses. Like blue, like the Democrats. I'm going to show you something interesting. So I wanted to see the definition of blue. And let me scroll down. I'll show you a few of the blues down here. Like we have here. Let me show you. We now have blue lace. Do you see that? Blue lace is now in the Bible. The cub, let's take a look at the definition of blue, H8504. And this is rather interesting. It's been translated to blue 50 times, and it means violet. Violet stuff. Violet thread. Violet stuff or fabric. That's right. Blue means fabric. How crazy is that? Blue covering spectrum from brilliant red through deep purple. Scrolling down, we see this strange language here. Look, the cerulean muscle. Do you see that? The cerulean muscle, the color violet, obtained therefrom or stuff dyed therewith, blue. So then I went to go take a look at what the cerulean is and take a look at this. This is the color of blue, and it says it's a shade of blue ranging between azure and the darker sky blue. The first recorded use of cerulean as a color name in English was in 1590. The word is derived from the Latin word cerulean, dark blue, blue or blue-green, and it goes on, which in turn probably derives from um, heaven or sky. Do you see that? And I showed you recently how the meaning of heaven has changed in scripture. In fact, I didn't bring it up, but it's good for me to show you. So let me do that right now. So heaven. 
The meaning of heaven has changed in scripture according to the concordance. Heaven is H8064. And I want you to take a look at this. Heaven, oh, this wasn't it. Give me a quick second. Um, I think it was in the New Testament. Give me a quick second. I want to find it. Uh, was it in the New Testament? I think it was in the New Testament. So give me a minute. G3772, and we see that heaven right there is Strong's number G3772, and take a look at this. The Strong's number G3772 is translated to heaven 268 times, and when I scroll up to the Greek word, it's Uranus, Uranus. That's right. They're calling heaven. They're saying heaven in the in the Greek is Uranus. Scrolling down, it says happiness, a place of happiness, power, eternity. How weird is this? But Again, I'm showing this to you because they're saying that the blue, cerulean blue, is heaven or sky. Now, scrolling down here, again, it says the meaning of cerulean is resembling the blue of the sky. We've all noticed that the sky is rarely blue these days because of the fake sun that we see in the sky and all the chemtrails that they are depositing it in the heavens has we now have like a more often than not a gauze a white gauze over the heavens and the blue sky is being hidden if you haven't noticed this you need to look up and go outside and start watching and observing but anyway so then it was, remember, it was Cerulean Mosque. Do you see that? Muscle, I meant. Well, when I type in that phrase, Cerulean Muscle, which was in the concordance for the word blue, it pops up these muscles, this beautiful color of blue. It was in scripture. Well, What's really weird is that um, muscle is similar to musk. Let me show this to you. Muscle and a musk. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to write. Muscle. There we go. Do you see this? The muscle and a musk. And I think of Elon Musk. A muscle. Let me look at Wikipedia. Muscle is the common name used for members of the several families of mollusks from saltwater and freshwater habitats. They're related to the mosque family. You understand? They're similar. I just think it's interesting that they would say the color of blue is cerulean muscle, the color violet, obtained therefrom or stuff dyed therewith, almost like a chameleon. Elon Musk is voting red. Did you know that? I think he's a charlatan. He's not who you think he is. Elon is in the Bible. 
And he's coming out and saying there's going to be a massive red wave that's coming. And we see that red now has is in scripture. The word wave is in scripture. It's also interesting. Now, I also want to remind you that liberal is now in the King James Bible, replacing the word noble in these instances four times, three times in the Old Testament and one time in the New Testament. The word liberal is popped in here. And if you look at these verses, you will see other changes in these verses. So crazy. We also have, we have liberals in the Bible now, and we also have publicans. 17 times in 16 verses. Again, the red wave is coming. And we're seeing arguments and fighting going on between the liberals and the conservatives. So let's take a look at how they're defining publicans in the strong support. It's G5057. And we see that a publican is defined as a renter or farmer of taxes. A man of equestrian rank. A tax gatherer, collector of taxes or tolls. One employed by a publican or farmer general in the collection of taxes. The tax collectors were, as a class, detested, not only by the Jews, but by other nations also, both on account of their employment and of the harshness, greed, and deception with which they did their job. And then it says a tax farmer, a collector of public revenue, a publican. I just find it really interesting. Let me know what you think about the red wave coming. And let me know what you think about the Bible changes I'm sharing with you today. What more would you like to add? I'm gonna go in the live chat and see who's here and see what your thoughts are. The red storm is coming with the wave. Elon is one of them, he absolutely is. Mm -hmm. Toxicity of synthetic musk. Nicole said, our weatherman said chemtrail on TV this morning. Oh, isn't that interesting? Yes, they ruined the sky. Yes, so I showed you how heavens is in the New Testament means Uranus. Is the, excuse me, heavens, the Greek word for heavens is Uranus. Yeah, but sprinkle. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's good to see you guys here. God bless you. So friends, that's what I want to share with you. I have to go because um, I have something to do, but I want to just get this off to you. Let me know what you guys think about the red wave coming. Let me know um, what you guys think because I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what messages you think they're sending. Be prepared, you guys. Our hope is not in a political party. Our hope is in Jesus and Jesus alone. Remember that. Do not trust in mortal men. You know, we place our confidence and our trust in the Lord because he is a sure foundation. Okay. Remember that. Do not be deceived. There's a lot of deception going on right now and we need to wake up in Jesus name. All right, everybody. I got to run. God bless you and God's favor upon you until next time. Bye everyone.